I told you about when uh, Jane went to the McDonald's to go pick those people up. Mm -hmm. Same thing's going to happen at the Croton Falls uh, train station here in about a month. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, she loves to argue. I wouldn't even bother. I'm not. Okay. Whatever. I offered my help. Yeah. She refused. So, fine. Okay. So I already know how that's going to play out. She's going to ride the, uh, Holly going to ride the, the Amtrak from here. And, and you realize that that runs along the Hudson. Uh -huh. You know, and I said, get off at Poughkeepsie, and then you go up there and pick her up, or you can ride down a little bit further on the Hudson there. And then she's like, well, the train goes to Croton Falls. That's close. So I said, no, train doesn't go to, it's close. That's the close train station, but it don't go to Croton Falls. So I already know what's going to happen. She's going to, Holly going to get off the train, and she's going to say, well, I'm here. And then uh, and she's going to go down to Croton Falls, and it'll take probably a half hour, 40 minutes for either of them to figure out that they're at different train stations. Oh God. That's what's going to happen. And then finally, she's not going to have an address to go to wherever the hell she is on the Hudson. I already know, already know what's going to happen. I'm not the smartest fucking tool in the box, but when I'm right, I'm right. You know, I said, look. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Maybe you can go out there and pick her up. Sure. It's like driving to Florida. It's 12 hours each way. Mm. Sure. Well, you get goes with you. You take people to Florida, and I felt like saying, yeah, they pay me five and six hundred dollars. I get a hotel for the night, Hilton or Sheridan, usually not, mm -hmm. not, not, not a sleazy, unheard of motel. You know. <laughs> yeah. And usually in their car. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So they rent you a Lincoln, <laughs> pay you about a mile or pay a flat fee, whatever, and go out there and collect them. And for your first class suite at the Waldorf. Monday. I'm going to Jersey Monday. Oh yeah. So I'll get your tray oh. Monday. That's what I'm thinking. Thinking out loud here. Yeah, I'll get your tray Monday, and then I'll go hit. hit going it. all the way to Jersey to buy rainbow cookies. I could actually. <laughs> I could. I could. Oh, I did gosh. actually pass by that. I was actually near there. They were they were closed when I when I left because it was actually that's not too far from the Ocean County Mall. So they figure out what made the train crash down in Hoboken? I have no idea. It's like they got one channel dedicated just to the train crash. Uh, came up to work yesterday, chugged down to NyQuil, woke up at 3 in the morning. Ew, that's gross. What? Yeah, something squished. Know what it used to be. Oh, no, it's, it's a box. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> like plugging guts in a carcass. <laughs> nice steaming pile of entrails smeared yeah. across the road. Cold to hot, you get sick. Uh -huh. 
No, I got sick because the old man came to work sick. Spread it around. She's sick. And I said, I don't care. She'll get all the kids sick at school. <laughs> no, she says she claims the kids make her sick. You know? uh, well, when you're in poor health all the time, that's... Uh, mm -hmm. Well, she's got free cookies and... Uh, well, actually, you know where she's getting sick from? From all the rat feces that she's eating. Yeah, probably. That, 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 and the bugs that get dropped into the food. She's not looking, you know. Oh, and the green slop and the red slop. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Although she claims she doesn't ladle slop anymore. Now she's the uh, the slushy lady or whatever. Uh, yeah, you know, my memory is getting a little foggy from high school, but I'm pretty sure we didn't have, we had no, chili. No, we had nothing like that. We had mystery meat stew. We had uh, fish decks, cardboard pizza. Sloppy Joe, which was another version of Mystery Meat Stew, with red sauce. I swear to God, I don't remember. I do not remember. Yeah. What, 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 what the hell there? You know, and I don't remember it being particularly bad. Yeah. You know, so I don't. Yeah, you don't you forget know. the government cheese, the government burgers. Probably, you know, probably, it was, it was probably, edible. Uh, it was food. A little bag of corn chips or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember the corn chips and the little bag of chips and the sodas. I remember that. Yeah. I remember hamburgers and hot dogs at least once a week. Yep. Whether it's separate days or one day, I don't remember. I really don't. I really don't remember. Was there... There was a breakfast, was there? There was coffee. We had coffee. In high school, yes. There was a breakfast. Did you want it? Um, I'm positive, yeah, because I would go in and occasionally get a cup of coffee or hot chocolate. That, I remember doing that. Donuts and... What do you call them? Uh, Kaiser rolls and mm -hmm. whatever. Ice cream sticks. Probably. Probably. Uh, or sandwiches. Well, we definitely didn't have slushies. I don't remember slushies. I don't remember that. Then again, you know, I, I couldn't fucking tell you what the hell was on the menu. You know, it's, Jello. We had Jello. Probably. You know, yeah, probably. I, I, my memory is failing very badly, which it probably is. I don't remember that. I can remember, I can remember some things, but not the menu. <laughs> Although, I don't remember it being like horrible and my god, I'm not eating this, you know? Well, as long as you didn't examine the meat and the sloppy joe too closely, you were fine. But, but I did, my mom always, uh, or not me, so she would, my mom would make dad uh, lunch to go for his work and sometimes she'd make me something, uh, but I would take that down to Yorktown. Mm. So on the way up or on the way down or during, I would have either a tuna salad or a chicken salad or a peanut P and j or something, you know, and a drink or something. Uh, remember. What has she got the bug and the flu also? Oh, she's got the black death. She's dying. <laughs> she's got the plague. Why don't you do like the Chinese do and wear those little paper masks? Yeah. I'll make the kids wear them. Protection against her. She's probably the one spreading it around. <laughs> Sneezing, sneezing into their food. Does she wash her hands? I doubt it. Well, if you go over their house, it's like a, it's like a, you know, you ever see puffing of smoke? Uh huh. You know, when they do firefighting, this is what it looks like. She got in that car one time. I'm like, God, my God, how many packs of cigarettes you smoke? I don't smoke. My like, God, damn. <laughs> well, should we should be getting lung cancer then. Well, I'm pretty sure that's what killed the cat. Probably. Almost certainly. Poor thing. Yep. Sell the speedometer yet for the 
I only just listed it this morning. I did sell the glove box door, though. I put the glove box door on at 10.30, I think it was. At 10.45 or so. Ah. And I just got done explaining to George Ambrose, who was there, that the only reason somebody would buy that because it had the Chrysler 300 emblem on it. Oh. And I wasn't going to attempt to remove that emblem because if I snap little tits off, it's useless and nobody's going to want it. So I just sell the whole goddamn thing. If they want to take it off, hey, that's on them. What'd you sell it for? 45 bucks. Wow, was that what the going rate for a glove box door is? For the emblem. Nobody buys glove box doors, you know. How do you break a glove box door? Not too easily. But the emblems, yeah, you, you can't break those. You never know missing off of a car. Yeah. You, never, you never know. never know, but I think they bought it for the emblem. I saw the emblem selling for roughly 35 bucks for the one that goes on the on the glove box door. So I priced it. $45 next to 10 bucks for the door. Yeah, somebody bought it. Some guy in Australia bought my big block 361 manifold, exhaust manifold. Hmm. It cost him 60 bucks to us. He didn't even bargain with me. 60 bucks. But the total tariff on that was $155 with shipping. Damn. Yeah. So the, what's his total bill when he gets done? $155. That's what he had to pay eBay. And me. Did he, did he mention if it's an original restoration? He has a 1958, a 59 Dodge uh, Royal, which is like a Coronet. Full-size car. And he put a 383 in it. I guess he must have had a 318 or something else like that in there. Whatever the Australian equivalent was out there. And uh, he put a 3.3 in it. But the manifolds didn't fit, so he needed a manifold. So there you go. That's the side with the steering is he probably had the later manifold for like the early 70s or something like that. But if you got one from the 60s, you got to have that manifold. So he's happy with it. He needed a couple of washers and a spring out of the steering column. I got him that too. He showed me some pictures of the car collection. He's got a there's an eclectic collection. He's got a, a Ranchero, which is what they call a Ute out there. You know? hmm. He's also got a 1976 LTD Ford LTD Landau. It's the damnedest looking thing I ever saw. It's an Australian version, right? Yes, because in this country, LTD did not make a land. They had a two-door sedan, but it was Chevy that had the land out. That weird back window set up, you know, like when I went long there, sloped window. And it has fender skirts and the wheels in, that were in this country used on the Lincoln Continental. I was there in the 90s, and it's like, you, you can almost, you almost wonder, like I saw a 69 Dodge Dart, or mm -hmm. what I thought was a 69 Dodge Dart. But it didn't say it. It said something else. Yeah. It said, it said Chrysler or something on it. Yeah. Yep. Different names. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was all these odd. And then something that looked like a '70 Camaro, but it didn't say. You know, it, it was something that, like the equivalent. Very odd. Yeah. I got pictures of it too, and I said, "What?" I said, "It's a '69." I'm like, "Oh, okay." And I'm like, "And it was just weird." You know, it looked like it. That was fresh. That one. He's got a little galaxy. I'm not sure what they call it, but we call it a galaxy here. And a Dodge. I looked at that Landau. I said, you know, that almost looks like a 1976 Chevy Caprice Landau that Ian used to drive. Hmm. Except that it's Ford. It's LTD. The front end looks like any LTD. You know, with the hideaway headlights, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. The back is the tennis looking thing. What color is it? One of those bronze. Things? That bronze that Ford used to love to put on those LTDs. Typical mid 70s. Yeah, exactly. Really clean car, too. It must be in a hot, dry place out there because here those things rotted in like two years. See, the WWF used to be wrestling, mm -hmm. then then the wildlife took them the initials over. <laughs> so if you sometimes, if you go to like a, a sports club and you, you go to wrestling night, you'll see that and you'll see another panda with a, a folding chair like he's getting ready yeah. to hit him. <laughs> Don't have a clue. Well, we are lost. 
penalty pull out, all these cars were coming. You see that? Yep. Mikey's got your spot. <laughs> Ooh.